You want to know how they make the yolk run like that in a video? Like that. That's how you do it with a toothpick. Just plunge it right into that yolk and watch it ooze out. Welcome to the Cast Iron Man Cooking Show. We are going to be making a little uh, fr um, fritomelet uh, thing here with the leftover, some of the leftover stuff we used in our salad yesterday. Because you want to use everything. You don't want to throw food out. You know how much food is wasted in a restaurant? A lot. It's uh, it's almost rises to the level of criminality, I would say. So grab some eggs for the frittata. We're going to need two eggs. Uh, and the ingredients are going to be tomatoes, roasted red peppers, red onion, and feta cheese. Crack those eggs. Uh, yeah, throw them right in the sink. Throw them behind your back into the sink. Yep. Yep, you could do that, and then miss, and grab a rag that's close by. Dash of milk to scramble up the eggs. One of the most important things with scrambling eggs, I'd say, is introducing air into the mixture, because you want your omelet slash frittata to be nice and fluffy. Butter in the pan, and a little skillet here on the side, and a dash of olive oil, and there's no uh, spatula in sight. Not at all. So I'm just going to plop these in in the meantime. Onion, tomato, roasted red pepper, kalamata olives, beautiful olives, one of my favorite. And um, tell me about your favorite olives, please, in the comments. I'm going to include all the ingredients down there too, so don't worry. Uh, at this point, once you saute your vegetables for a little bit and your toppings, just go ahead and dump your eggs in and begin to stir the middle, uh, kind of peel away at the sides with your little tiny spatula. I actually chose the right size spatula this time for this project, so that's good. And just let it set up. But you wanna make sure everything's well incorporated. Here, uh, I did some oregano too. I think that that's pretty indicative of a Mediterranean omelet, right? Oregano? Yeah, we're calling it Mediterranean. We're not gonna call it, call it Greek because, you know, this is like from one side of the Adriatic to the other, you know? It's just, everybody's involved here. And it doesn't have any spinach, so I'm not going to call it a Greek omelet. This is Pecorino Romano cheese I put in. I did not put the feta in yet. I do not put the feta in omelets because I feel like it creates a weird texture when it gets cooked. That's just me personally. If you have a different experience with that, let me know. Uh, here's where it becomes a fritomelet with a what will be a sunny side up egg once the top layer is cooked. Because I want to get the runniness too. You know, I just don't want to straight up frittata throw that in the oven for four minutes more and in the meantime go ahead and start constructing your salad we need a salad with this because it's kind of like a semi-healthy dish and so get the salad throw in the feta and the dressing that we made on the summer panzanella the basil vinaigrette and just stir it all together plate it really nice on your on your diner style plate i like this this little plate here i got the other day and then surgically remove your frittata from the pan um and be careful because this thing is super hot it's ripping hot that cast iron you can just duplicate this process on a larger scale if you want to make this for more people and then cut it like a pizza once you get it out of the skillet so this is a little frittata for one but if you had a couple people over for brunch just make it for more than one. Thank you, guys. See you soon on the Cast Iron Man cooking show.